Epic Mickey is the long-awaited Disney video game designed to bring Mickey Mouse, the classic cartoon superstar, into the modern-day era as a video game hero. It strives to do this by breaking down all the barriers that normally keep licensed games below the bar of expectations. It boasts such features as a dark storyline, choices with consequences, and many more innovations. But can this long-hyped and anticipated game truly live up to such high, high standards? I'm here to find out. Starting right into the game's first level, you can see I'm not playing as Mickey. When I picked up my pre-order at Funko Land, they included a free DLC that lets me play as Donald, so I'll be showcasing that during this review. As you can see, we've already encountered one of the game's many wacky, quacky power-ups that allow you to plow through and show that Mickey, or Donald in this case, has all the abilities needed to be a video game classic hero. Yo, check this out. In addition to the 3D platforming we've already seen, the game also includes these 2D throwback side-scrolling segments. They're really fun to play, and they feel exactly like an old game. It's almost as if gaming hasn't evolved since the late 90s. I should tell you about this game's epic story. You see, as Mickey was walking through Disneyland one day, all the construction workers got lazy and fell asleep. Because of this, the mayor's office fell to the ground and killed King Pete. Now Mickey has to collect all of King Pete's bones and burn them in a furnace as to prevent him from being revived. It's quite an epic story, and throughout the game you'll come across many, many choices that will affect the outcome of the game, such as whether or not you're going to jump on the next platform, and whether or not you're going to punch the next bad guy. It's really quite amazing. On the subject of graphics, Epic Mickey truly pushes the Nintendo Wii's graphics processor to its absolute limits. As you can see in this beautifully rendered scene, Epic Mickey displays the best graphics that the Wii has to offer. It's really quite impressive. I would often forget that I was playing a modern video game console while I was playing Epic Mickey. In my personal opinion, no other video game console could have done Epic Mickey justice graphic-wise other than the Wii. Epic Kirby is also chock full of tons of super stealthy slippery secret secrets that will keep you playing through the game many, many times over. I've already played through Epic Kirby three times and still haven't found every secret there is to offer. Epic Kirby's sound design is also the most incredible sound design I've ever seen in a video game. The soundtrack is the most beautifully orchestrated thing I've heard in a long time. Every drum, string, and trumpet will leave you on the edge of your seat waiting to hear what kind of music the game's composer can come up with next. It's truly impressive. As the game's story advances, you truly start to appreciate all the thought that went into this beautifully crafted story. In this scene, you can see Kirby's friend Waddle do find one of the pieces of the epic shard, but being attacked by the evil dark matter just as he retrieves it. Fortunately, Kirby and his friend Yarn come by to rescue him just in time by beating the dark matter out of him. Scenes such as this truly show that the game's, well, at times, dark story is incredibly tasteful and well-written. While not pictured here, the game features an amazing four-player co-op mode where you and three of your friends can take on the role of helpers, which are good versions of Kirby's enemies, and battle alongside Kirby, jumping on each other's shoulders and using your powers in unison to fight against the evil king the Day Day. It's an incredibly fun feature, and it's really good to see this finally come out after so many years in development on the Nintendo GameCube. It's just what the fans wanted. Good job, Hasbro. Overall, Mickey's Epic Kirby is the most fun you can have on the Nintendo Wii. It's definitely a solid entry for Game of the Year, and I recommend anybody with a Wii pick it up. I promise you won't be disappointed.